Hello, St. Luke, St. Luke friends, our loved ones, our well wishers, all of our members. This is the day that the Lord has made. We ought to rejoice. I will rejoice, David said, and be glad uh, in the day. I will means I may not feel like it, but I will. Things may not be going right, but I will. I will bless the Lord. This is the St. Luke Christian Church. We are here at 1800 Sparkman Drive in Huntsville, Alabama. Pray that your day is going well. Um, we are thankful to have just uh, um, finished with um, final rites, celebrating the life of Brother Levante um, Jefferson, the nephew of our own sister Frida Jackson family, Shay and Lawanda. A lot of young people at that funeral. We want you to keep that family and those young people uh, in prayer. Um, on Saturday, the Fultz family, um, we celebrated the final rites for Cortez uh, Clark, who was the son of Sister Veronica Fultz. And um, a lot of young people. Um, and you try to speak to them uh, where they are. And uh, we want you to keep those families, um, those families in prayer as they uh, continue. Brother Oliver, Ryan Oliver, mother will be, um, Sun Life will be celebrated Friday. That will be at 12 o'clock at uh, Berry Hill. Those of you who know Brother Ryan Oliver, keep him and that family in prayer uh, as well. Amen. 32, uh, then uh, 23 today. Uh, so so to all of us, we better, I think it would be wise to start talking to our young people about the decisions and um, about the serious nature of making a decision on who Christ is and, and God in your life. Um, young people are it's not, not, not a new phenomenon. So let's keep those families in prayer. Keep them uh, lifted up. Again, like um, parents taking children to bury them is out of order and deeply hurting uh, for those for those parents. So let's, let's keep them in prayer. Other announcements, October is Men's Month. And the men are meeting tomorrow. It's the 22nd at 6.30 on Zoom. If you haven't gotten that Zoom uh, address or that code to get on, brothers, get your brothers, let them know. We are having a planning meeting for um, the month of October, men's month. But furthermore, we're going to be talking about um, regrouping. we gathering our leadership team, making plans uh, to move out and, and start back to doing what it is that we do by way of ministry, all brothers, all St. Luke brothers, please, 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 well, come on, we need your ideas about what we can do uh, to fellowship among ourselves, and also what we can do about enlarging the fellowship and reaching and reaching others uh, uh, for Christ and sharing what we've learned as older brothers, what we've experienced in all on all the platforms of life, whether it's finances, whether it's relationship, uh, whether it's business, whether it's investments, uh, and, and, sh and just being able to talk about talk about uh, um, the failures and, and helping people avoid those brothers. We need uh, we need you to come to this Zoom meeting. We're going to plan for October and beyond. That's tomorrow at six thirty on Zoom, or ask all of our uh, family group, tribe leaders, family group leaders, reach out to all you, all the men, and let them know we'll be on Zoom tomorrow night at 6.30. Please, please, please get that out to all of our brothers. Now, uh, the water drive. Let me thank you, St. Luke. We were in Jackson, uh, Mississippi on Monday in the SIP, and we took 14 um, pallets plus water that had been donated by uh, by you, primarily St. Luke, but there were 
some from the community who do not necessarily did not belong to St. Lucas members but belong to the body of Christ and more importantly just wanted to help who were able to take um, about seven pallets uh, over to um, a ministry there in in, in, in Jackson relevant um, church uh, there in Jackson we also went to North West, I believe it is, IB Middle School, and we left seven pallets there. I want to thank those who were willing to sacrifice first to provide the water. Brothers came out Sunday evening in the numbers to make sure we had it had it loaded. We left here early Monday morning and um, got it to Jackson, got there safely, and got back. Let me thank the team that went over, especially Deacon Lewis Lockett, who organized that logistics transportation and and got us uh, up and, 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 and ready to get that water there. The people of, of Mississippi, the people who receive that water will have been blessed by God through you. So we thank God for each of you who contributed. About 10, about 12 people bought pallets, just a whole pallet. They just put contribution into buy pallets. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for your kindness. And may God continue to bless you and enlarge your ability going forward. As God increases your ability, you'll give us. God increases your ability to give. He knows that you'll be a proper steward over what it is that he uh, gives you and invests in you and that you'll be able to share with those. Thank you, God, who are in need themselves. Let's keep uh, our seniors, our seniors are on our prayer list, and let's not forget those we've been praying for and we're going to keep praying for. Um, I, I got water from Brother Mingo Ponder. Now he's convalescing and figuring out how to negotiate this new life and thinking about others. Mother, Mother Jackson and Sister Cara Thomas, keep her in prayer. Sister Dobbins was in church on Sunday, I believe it was, and glad to see her. Mother DeVance, don't forget Mother DeVance when you pray. And uh, Sister Patricia Flower, I've spoken to her. Um, voice is strong, and she's still praying for us, sending us our love. Um, Sister Sheila Rashid, I haven't spoke with her a while, in a while, so let's make contact with Sheila and keep her in your prayers. Sister Loretta Mahone, Malone, Mahone, and probably most of you don't know her, but she's um, a loved one there in the state of Ohio. And we told her husband we would pray for her last word. She was doing much better. Sister Tiny, Willie Ellison, and Mother Foreman, and Sister Wanda Jackson. Let's keep all of them in prayer and all of our singing. Don't forget Brother Williams now. He was recuperating well, he came on Zoom. I believe we were on Zoom recently. He was on there, and he was looking like he was perking along fairly fairly well. Our uh, college students are back. Um, I think we're having um, homecoming or something coming up soon there for A&M, and we want you to get ready to go out. We have a tailgate spot. Anybody who want to go out there and work with us on that tailgate spot for homecoming, be sure uh, to let us know. This is Pastor T.C. Johnson. I want you to keep um, praying for us here. We'll be traveling to a funeral as well in Orlando of near relatives. So we thank God that God is able. So keep us in prayer. We'll see you again at Word and Worship. We're talking about on the journey with Jesus, on the journey with Jesus in Luke chapter 8. That's what we'll continue to talk about today, Luke chapter 8. On the journey uh, with Jesus. Amen. Listen, until we go to work, see your word and worship, you do be blessed.